How's it going, you guys? New Age here with uh, episode. Oh, not bad. I haven't recorded this in a while. Episode 23 of our live X and Y Battle Spot series, and our current record is uh, 31 wins, 31 losses. That's that's why I sounded surprised if I did. Also, turn down the volume right there. Sorry about that. All right, so uh, current record tied up, not bad. So let's see. Uh, let's see if we could turn that in our favor today. I like having the records tied up. That's pretty nice. Because, uh, keep it nice and suspenseful, all that good stuff. Uh, so, there's the team right there. It's actually, I'm pretty sure it's I'm looking for it right now. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Uh, so, I think I could give you a rundown of what I got if I remember. Uh, so we got, uh, Golem with the Quick Claw, because it's got sturdy stealth rocks and then explosion. So, if I could get off an explosion, you guys know how much I love doing that. So that's what we're gonna try and do. Uh, we got Aridos with the Focus Ash and the Sticky Web. Uh, Life Orb Thunderous, a Choice Scarfed, uh, Star Raptor, a Leftovers, um, Gorgeist, and a Choice Specs Greninja. Just because I did have Life Orb on a Greninja, but Specs, I, I didn't have anything for Thunderous, so I went ahead and put Specs on Greninja and Life Orb on a Thunderous because it's a prankster thunder so we're gonna have all kinds of fun with that so let's uh let's let's hop right in let's hop right in gotta admit guys right now i'm feeling feeling pretty pretty unstoppable pretty on top of the world i just woke up from a nap for like four hours so uh that's always some good time right there so we are going up against gyarados gory guys garchomp talonflame lucario and Nido king uh so that's definitely uh some issues right there especially lucario i don't i don't really want to get swept uh i think thunderous will do a good job of helping me out with that honestly with the prankster uh, thunder wave so let's see prankster thunder wave uh he does have pretty big ice weakness so that's cool so a uh, greninja definitely be a pokemon to bring um I don't want to bring Gorgas just because of Talonflame. I mean, he's got to bring Talonflame. I have a Bug type and a Grass type. I think I think Golem would be all right to bring, but then I feel like it's kind of a waste because then it's just up to Thunderous and Greninja. Hmm. Then again, Greninja hits. Garchomp, Talonflame, Nidoking, and Gorgeist. While Thunderous hits Gyarados, Talonflame. Mmm. I don't. Then again, though, there's nothing to hit Lucario. That's a bit of an issue. I mean, Greninja can hit Lucario, but. I don't know if I really want to rely on that. Star Raptor would be great. But I don't want to bring that just for Lucario. Uh. Alright, uh. Hmm. Should I bring Star Raptor? Just for Lucario? Yeah, I, I think I'm not gonna bring Golem. I'm gonna start off with Thunderous. Uh. So, Thunderous, Star Raptor, Greninja. Let's go. Let's see what we can get going right here. My main goal for this battle, I don't even care if I win or lose this one, I just don't want to get swept. That sounds like a plan, right? Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. He's got plenty of things to sweep, too. He's got a Talonflame. I mean, Sword of Stance Talonflame, I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, he's got a Garchomp. He's got Lucario. I mean, there's some risky business right here. Uh, unfortunately, this is a Thunderous that I made for myself a long time ago. So, I don't have Hidden Power and Ice. There's actually a really old moveset. That's Taunt, Knock Off, Thunder Wave, and Volt Switch. Uh, I guess I could go for the Taunt, because if he's starting off with Garchomp, it might be a Stealth Rocker. So, sure, why not? And damn, this man has battled a lot of times, so I'm definitely going to assume that's a Stealth Rock, uh, Garchomp. The more people have battled, the more likely they have, they will be to have a Stealth Rock and Garchomp. There you go. That's a little tidbit of information for you guys right there. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, I'm wrong. Oh, no. 
Well, this is a great way to uh <laughs> to start things off. Let's see. So I have Greninja, but I can't exactly switch uh, Greninja out into a move that lowers my speed. Especially if this thing is a uh, choice scarf. I don't want to switch Star after out to a rock move either. I'm in a bad place right now. I might just have to let Thunderous die. I'm just going to go for a knockoff. Oh, that's right. He's faster than me now. Well, I mean, he could have been faster than me to begin with. I went for a, for a priority move that first turn. All right, so this is not going well. Um, so let's see. Like I said, he has a lot that's weak to ice. So then again, uh, a good thing I have on my side is uh, I'm choice spec, so ice beam will hit like Talonflame pretty hard too. Uh, the only thing it wouldn't hit hard would be Lucario, which is a pretty big deal. Mm. So if he were to switch out to Lucario, he would do it now. Uh, since Greninja is honestly in pretty good shape to take out his whole team, I'm going to go ahead and go for U-turn, predicting him to switch, which uh, I guess he's not doing that, so that's cool. The only reason I'm using U-Turn now anyways is because if uh, Garchomp was Focus Sashed and I went for Ice Move, then he could go for Rock Tomb and take me out. So, wasn't going to be risking that. So, uh, we'll see here if he was going for Rock Tomb, then he had to have been uh, Focus Sashed. But I get the Intimidate off anyway, so hopefully I could survive a little bit. Yeah, so he, he had to have been Sashed. Um, the bad thing is here... I don't have a uh, roost because I'm choice actually I do have roost that's what I meant to say I do have roost which sucks because I'm choice because uh, this star after wasn't originally a choice star after it was an expert belt so that's fun uh, I honestly mmm I don't know I guess I'll just go for brave bird that's all I can really do. Then again, that puts me in a really bad place. I think I might just have to go for U-Turn again, because then I'm okay with spamming Ice Beam now that uh, if it was Focus Sashed, it's, it's gone now. So I'm just going to go for U-Turn. And he goes for Stealth Rock, so that sucks. And he was faster. S Does that mean he's Scarfed? I don't know. I don't know speeds as well. I mean, I do know Grenin Greninja was faster, though, so I, I don't think he was scarfed. Um, so I'm going to go out into Greninja, and part of me actually just wants to spam uh, Scalds, because he has to know I'm going for Ice Beam here, so if he brought Talonflame or Lucario, he'd switch out into it now. And Scald might actually kill uh, this Garchomp from this range, so especially from Specs, I'm, I'm just going to go for it. So here we go. Yeah, I've been recording. He doesn't end up switching. I don't know what he brought then to where he's just not wanting to switch anything out right now. But we'll see uh, what he has. I don't know if I can take a Brave Bird, honestly. So that's uh, definitely an issue. Ugh. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and risk it. I'm going to go out into Star Raptor just to get the Intimidate off. And, I don't know, he could take some kind of damage from a Brave Bird recoil. I'm assuming that's what he has to be going for. Because otherwise I, I would be faster. And we'll see what happens. One of the things... uh. I've noticed lately, which is pretty cool because I said I wanted, to, wanted this to happen. For those of you who have been around from the beginning of my channel, um, I, was, I felt like I was a lot better, I've said this before, I was a lot better at battling um, towards the beginning of my channel and then after I was recording for a while, I was more just focused on putting out videos, not as much uh, doing better in the battles. Just because, you know, I mean, I'm still in school, but 
that was more the reason. I was just like, I gotta get these videos out. So, uh, actually now I realize that might have been a bad idea, because Stealth Rocks is just gonna pile up. I'm, I'm gonna be taking even, or bringing down my survivability even less and less. Um, but, I mean, so I could do is go for Skulls. I don't think it matters, because I'm, I'm locked into it. So, I don't know. Gorgas? No, Nido King. Alright, well, that's dead. Um, but yeah, uh, with some of the showdown videos I've been recording lately with the teams I've been using, I haven't expected the teams to do good, but I've actually been winning a lot of battles on showdown lately. Uh, I did some recording ahead for this next week, uh, and uh, <laughs> gotta admit, it went pretty well. I'm pretty sure I'm about to die right here though, but you know what? I mean, we didn't get swept. Remember what I said? That's the goal. That was the goal. Oh, if only. If only I would have survived. Talonflame would have been so good. Oh well though. Uh, not bad. Not bad. So, 31 wins, 32 losses. Uh, we still we still got enough time for two battles though, so... Let's see if we can, uh... We can knock out some wins right here. But yeah. I feel like, uh... Oh, I did not mean to say that. I feel like I've been doing better in the battles recently, which is pretty cool. It's making me happy. For one, because I get more wins, and that's nice. And two, because when you battle better against good people, it it gives you better battles. Like, more entertaining, more close matches. And that's, that's always a good time. So, you'll see. Let's see, I got some stuff. I got some stuff. Some stuff coming. So we are going up against Talonflame, Manetra, Clefable, Garchomp, Ninetales, and Gliscor. So, uh, definitely a scary team. Uh, at the same time, though, Greninja does some pretty good work on this team, too. Um, bad news is... Hmm. What is the bad news? Do tell. I don't really have anything for Clefable. That's that's some bad news right there. Would he bring Clefable though? What 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 would he bring for my team? I feel like he's got to bring Manetric. I have a lot of Electric and Fire type weaknesses. <laughs> I just realized that Manetric hits everything on my team, especially if he's got Hidden Power Ice. So he's definitely bringing Manetric. One of the things I kind of want to do is bring Aridos and try and set up the sticky web to slow down Manetric because that'll definitely come in handy. Um, other than that, it might be between a combination of Star Raptor and Greninja to take out Manetric. But the thing is, Greninja doesn't really do anything to anyone else. I mean, it doesn't even do anything to Manetric, but. Part of me wants to try Golem. Because Golem could take Brave Birds and uh, Flare Blitzes. The only thing would be, I'd have to use Golem not in like a Suicide Lead kind of sense. I think if I start off with Ariados as Suicide Lead, get off a Sticky Web and then whatever damage I can, then use Greninja to hit everything I can, I just have to make sure that Golem isn't left over to try and take on Garchomp or Gliscor. So I may kind of have to sack it off at some point. I could see that happening. I, I may not really have a choice. But for sure, the sticky web will uh, hopefully come in handy. I don't know what Manetric's base speed is. But for sure it won't outspeed a Greninja, so that's good. So let's see. Starting off with the Ninetales. Which actually sucks because... Uh, my, damn, my Aridos isn't Insomnia, it's Swarm. Please don't hit me with the Hypnosis. Okay, I'm cool with that. Because even if I get burned, I still survive. I hope I don't get burned, though. Hey, no burn. First, so we get the Sticky Web off. Uh, so that's nice. And then, I mean, Sucker Punch, I don't see why not. Let's go for it get some damage off the damage extra sensory hmm. all right 
so uh, that's going to take us out. I was wondering why he did that. Um, probably just because the accuracy from uh, Heat Wave didn't want to risk missing. So, if I, I could go out into Greninja now, and it might force a switch into something. But I don't... He wouldn't switch into Gliscor or Garchomp. I mean, Netra could be a switch, but honestly, I don't think he could risk taking hits from Greninja like that. The only one I could see him switching out into... Who is it? Oh, I just forgot. There was someone that he had that could take a water hit. Uh, I don't know. I mean, granted, the, the sun's up. I'm choice specs, so I should still be fine. Um, I guess I'll just go for the Scald. Part of me wants to go for U-Turn, but honestly, I feel like I could two-hit KO most of what he's got with Scald. Maybe not in the sun. He does stay in, though, so that does tell me he doesn't have much for uh, Greninja. So the good news is, if he goes out into Gliscor here, I should be able to one-shot that even in the sun. Um... So now he knows I'm not Life Orb, so he could think I'm Expert Belt. Uh, he might go out into Garchomp here if he brought it. So he actually goes out into Talonflame, which is cool, because uh, that's why I brought Golem. So I'm going to go out into Golem. I should be able to take a hit just fine. I'm pretty sure I'm invested in HP and Defense. Um, shiny Golem, by the way. I caught a Shiny Geodude. That was fun. That was fun times. <laughs> You'll hear about that story sometime soon on my channel, I'm pretty sure. Uh, actually, that was a pretty solid amount. But, this Brave, uh, this Brave Bird, this Talonflame shouldn't have anything to hit me with, so I'm gonna go for Stealth Rock, just to get that off. Uh, he actually goes for the Will-O-Wisp, which is pretty inconvenient, but honestly, uh, Stone Edge will still hit this thing pretty hard, gotta admit. So I'm getting Stealth Rocks up, just so we can't really switch out anymore. The only problem is... If I don't kill him with Golem, he might still be able to kill Talonflame. So I'm just going to go for Stone Edge. Uh, hope I can hit this thing for... Oh, he goes for U-Turn. Alright. So... The good news is Talonflame is coming back into Stealth Rocks. Bad news, Golem's going to die right here. Pretty sure. And damn. Oh, can I hit this thing? Get some good damage off with the stone edge that'd be nice that'd be nice that'd be nice who not bad all right so I don't know what he's going for here honestly yeah I just have to let it go because I need all the HP I can I don't even know if Greninja is capable of taking a brave bird but if it is, the more HP it has, the better. So I'm just going to let it Mega Evolve here. I'm assuming I will be faster uh, because of the speed drop. I really hope. Not Golem. Uh, Greninja will be faster. Golem ain't going to be faster than no one. So he goes for Hidden Power Ice. I did want to switch out into that for Greninja, but it's it, it wasn't worth it. It would have been cool if I survived right there. Um, so good news is we do have really nice damage on Manetric, and we should be faster than it. So, uh, once again, here we are. Greninja versus Talonflame. I swear if, okay, I was gonna say I swear if this thing is faster. It's not gonna make any kind of sense to me. Alright. I don't, I don't know how well this is gonna work. I don't know if this is even gonna work. But, I mean, I did the best I could. Did the best I could. Uh, just, just take it easy. Just take it easy. Just take it easy. Just take Come on, please, Greninja, just survive with one HP if anything. Ah! No, he got a crit. I need, I need to look up if that mattered. I really, I really need to look up if that mattered. I really do. He barely survived that himself. Was she? I'll, I'll be right back, guys. I need to look up. I need to look up if that mattered. I really do. I can't help it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I looked it up. Uh, it wasn't Life Orb because he didn't take Life Orb Recoil. And it wasn't Choice Banded because he hit me with Will-O-Wisp after Brave Birding me. 
so adamant just regular town flame does not one shot greninja with vapor adamant town flame with uh sharp beak has a 50 percent chance to one shot it so if it was jolly i doubt it was killing me i don't know what other item it could have had if it wasn't sharp beak but damn it damn it that crit mattered that crit mattered uh, that makes me. <laughs> oh, that makes me so upset. Oh, it sucks. We could have had a win right there. What's up with that? That's not okay. That's not okay. <laughs> All right, so we got one more battle. Um, I mean, honestly, I, I don't really care that we've lost because that we've lost that we've lost because uh, we we put up a pretty good fight. So, uh, now is a good time to lose to all this madness right here. We got a Gyarados, Blissey, Hydreigon, Gengar, Garchomp, and Ferrothorn. Uh, wish I had that hidden power fire on Greninja. Um, definitely have to bring Staraptor because of Blissey. And Staraptor, I know Oko's, uh, <laughs> a Hydreigon with close combat been there way too many times. And Staraptor is actually pretty good for Ferrothorn too. Um, I think it two hit KOs? I'm not sure. Maybe after like Leech Seed and stuff it might not. Then again, I don't want Starfter to get hit with the Gyro Ball, so I'm not gonna even risk that. Uh, Thunderous will be good to taunt uh, Ferrothorn. I can knock off Gengar, and I could Volt Switch on Gyarados, so Thunderous should be good. Uh, Starfter also good. I feel like just because I don't have things for uh, Garchomp, I have to bring Greninja. Uh, really? I mean, Greninja can hit Hydreigon too, but it kind of sucks that it's not better for more. So uh, I'm going to start off with Thunderous, and hopefully he doesn't start off with Garchomp. Uh, otherwise, I should be pretty good. If not, Bolt Switch uh, hits him with the knockoff. I can taunt the uh, Ferrothorn, so that's always nice. And then, I guess if I taunt Ferrothorn, I'll probably go for knockoff next. Just because Thunderous is kind of a suicide lead, but depending on what we're going up against. So, uh, we got a Gengar here, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I don't know if he's trying to go for a status move, but I should be fine. So, uh, it's Mega Gengar, which he should outspeed me. So... Dang, he took that like a champ. Um, I'm gonna see what he's trying to. He's going for Parish Song. I could Volt Switch though, so I'm not. I'm not really concerned with that, honestly. Um, I want to go for Volt Switch, but at the same time, hmm, I'm worried about Destiny Bond. Honestly, I need to go for a Taunt. But then it's going to be faster than me next turn, and if it two-hit KOs me with Shadow Ball, I need to go for Thunder Wave. Oh, he went for Protect. What is he going for next turn? Because two, I use Taunt. Then on one... Wait, so at the end of next turn, it'll be two? Dang, which one was it just that? Was it two or one? I'm just gonna Volt Switch. Screw it. I fear the Destiny Bond. Damn it, Thunders, please don't kill this man. Uh, it took that knockoff good though, but then again, I'm a special attacker. No! Okay. Damn it, I needed that for Gyarados. I wanted to go for Taunt so bad, but I'm pretty sure if he used Protect next turn. He couldn't have used Protect. I'm stupid. I should have went for Taunt. Oh, I'm a smart cookie. I'm going to go out and take Greninja just because if it's something I don't want to go up against, I can just U-turn on it. So, And uh, Blissey, I definitely don't want to go up against that. So, I'm afraid that Thunder Wave is coming, which really sucks, but 
I have no choice. I'm not using Greninja against Blissey, especially because Greninja does hit Hydreigon as well. So Hydreigon and Garchomp, which are both hit by Ice Beam, so I wouldn't even need to switch a move. Uh, so it actually, that's cool. I like the eject button because that actually lets me see his last Pokemon, and I can U-turn on that as well with uh, Star Raptor, as well as get Intimidate off because the other, the rest of his Pokemon are physical attackers. So. Uh, wait, what? I went for U-turn, what the hell? I don't get what just happened right now. Why does that switch him out, but not me? Alright, well, I'm going for U-turn again. And that's just great for me, because, uh, I can... I'm actually just gonna hit this thing with U-turn twice, because... I can hit it with U-turn, come back out into Greninja, um, basically because he could switch right here and get the Intimidate off on Star Raptor, so I need a Star Raptor to be able to Intimidate Gyarados. The only thing is I am worried about Stone Edge, and I don't really have anything to hit Gyarados back. So I'm assuming he's going to switch out because he doesn't want to take a close combat. Like that's, he doesn't switch out, okay. Well I'm just going to U-turn again with Greninja. I'm assuming they're going for soft boiled or wish or something. Uh, that's all I could think of. I'm really hoping they're not going for Thunder Wave. Fire Blast. I mean, okay. Do realize you're a Blissey, right? Um, part of me. I'm pretty sure I could take it out with the Ice Beam here. Um, it, I mean, it's not an EVO Light or anything, just because, you know, it's a Blissey. Um, I would like to spam Scalds, though, in case I could burn the Gyarados. I'm just going to go for Ice Beams and hope that uh, Star After can handle whatever's left of Gyarados. Really hoping because I don't want to try and rely on a burn right now. It really did not kill! I can't believe that. Alright, new plan. Go out into Star Raptor and uh, close combat this thing. <laughs> wow. Specs, Stab, Ice Beam. It didn't even have that much health. I mean, then again, for how much it did do, that was pretty, pretty impressive. Um, so, uh... I really want to go for U-turn now. I mean, come on. You're really... Are you really about to stay in? I'm going to go for U-turn again, just because, honestly, I lose nothing for going for U-turn, just because Greninja can go for U-turn as well. So, I'm just going to say, screw it, go for U-turn, assume he's going to switch. He does switch, so that's nice. Granted, I mean, Greninja doesn't really do anything to Gyarados either, but I'd rather... I need Star Raptor to win this game, so I'd rather preserve Star Raptor as best as I can. Rocky Helmet, well, that sucks, and I guess it's good to know for later. Um, Rocky Helmet. Is there a Rocky Helmet variant of Gyarados? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh. I'm just going to go for Ice Beam. I mean, if he wants to switch, fine. But uh, this Ice Beam, I'm hoping, will still do some nice damage. Ooh, the 2 AK. Oh, not bad. <gasps> I forgot about Stone Edge, but he misses. Oh, we're so good right now. You can withdraw it. That's cool. Honestly, uh, Star Raptor should be able to take this thing out with the Brave Bird from here. The only thing I'm a little sketchy about is getting burned by a fire blast. Please don't let that happen. That's like the only thing that could stop me now. Honestly, I'm going to go out into town flame and just spam close combat. Because close combat should be able to two hit KO uh, Gyarados and one shot Blissey. Which if he switches Star Raptor into a close combat, I'm good. Bad news is Intimidate will still do something. I'll have to see. 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, no, 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 no. <gasps> okay, it survived. I, I should be good. I should be good. I got so lucky right there. Since when is Blissey that strong? I mean, it was Ice Beam. I guess I get it. I don't have any defense. Alright. I need this to two hit KO. That's what I need. I don't think it two hit KOs. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's only because I was intimidated. I forgot about the Rocky Helmet. I'm smart. I just lost. Well. Well. <laughs> I am a smart fella. Gotta tell ya. Um. I'm just gonna spam Scald. Because the only hope I have, which is none, honestly, is burning Blissey. Which, uh. We all know how well that's gonna go. So. <sighs> I told you, man. I've been trying so hard. And look where it's got me. Damn. I had it too. I was in there. Let me get a crit and just destroy this thing. If any Greninja is gonna beat a Blissey, it's gonna be a Choice Specs one. Please get the burn. Please get the burn. Please, oh, please get the burn. Nope. Uh. Is that what you have to hit me with? The good news is, if he freezes me, Scald unthaws me, so... <laughs> if I have to be locked into one move, it'll be Scald. Please burn it. I need the burn so bad. Thank you. Don't go for... Uh, okay. Alright, I need that crit. That's what I need. Oh my gosh, so much health. So much health. Burn does a nice chunk, though. If I win this somehow... I need a crit, come on. Payback for that crit, Brave Bird. <gasps> I did get a crit. Oh! Damn it, with the burn, it would have killed. I don't think Scald kills from that range. Let's burn it again! Burn it again! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, no. Stop surviving. I even got the crit. No. I need the burn so bad. I need it. I need it. I want it. I want the burn. <laughs> Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Stop it. <sighs> this thing's about to pee pee stall me. Out of freaking scalds. You think struggle would do. You think struggle would Oko <laughs> a chance of Lissy? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Oh, come on. You need to burn. You need to be burned. Alright, how much does that do? That does way too much. 18. So... 2 is 36. Puts me at 20. So I could technically take 4? That's not right. I could take 3. Yeah. And uh, I don't care about that because I'm, I'm going with the Scald. So I'm good. Greninja, go ahead and uh, bust up out of that. Oh, if I get a crit right here, that'll kill it. Give me another crit. Give me another crit or burn it. Burn it. This thing needs to burn. It's not happening. It's not happening. I need, like, double crit, burn. Greninja, you had so many opportunities. <sighs> Why? 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 Why me? And Why can't you burn this thing? And why are you going for Fire Blast? Oh, what? How did that do more than Ice Beam? Whatever. Okay. So, uh, that was cool. Went ahead and lost ourselves a nice, clean three battles. <laughs> but hey, I mean, they, I was, I was trying. I was, I was giving it that, that good shot that only I could give. So, uh, I don't know. I might try and use this team again next week, just cause. I got so many shenanigans done, it wasn't even cool. I mean, the crit, and then the Rocky Helmet. I mean, granted, the Rocky Helmet was my fault, but, huh, I'm sad. This rain is very fitting. It's very fitting for me. Happy people don't skate. What? 
<sighs> okay. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see more, you can subscribe to my channel, New Age Steel, where I upload multiple videos every single day. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, where I post first-hand information on when I upload videos to the channel. So until then, I'm New Age Steel. Keep on watching, and I'll see you guys next time.